Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. I'm cold, so I got the hat on. A little programming language news. C, C++, Java. Vie for second place in language popularity contest. So, um, no, survey rather, not a contest. So, I'm just going to go over some of the points of the article and then give you my two cents. So, first place, Python extends its, its leads while C Sharp also gathers steam in the October 2025 Tyobi Index of Programming Language Popularity. So, Tyobi is an organization, they check out web searches, how many new courses are in place, blah, 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 and that's how they get their ratings. You know, we're going to talk about that in two seconds, but here it is. Uh, Python is 24%, C is 9.25%, C++ is 8.84%, Java is 8.835%, C Sharp 6.9%, JavaScript 3.41%, that's why I question this. Here's the big one. Visual Basic is 3.322%. That uh, doesn't make any sense. Visual Basic was popular like 30 years ago. Longer. What's today's date? Or 2025? It's like 30, yeah, 30 years ago. If you look at other popularity indexes, here's another one from um, Arrival. Uh, I can't even say this. PYPL, Popularity of Programming Index, assesses language's popularity by analyzing how often language tutorials are searched on Google. So it shows an interest. So we see the top three are typical. So you got Python, Java, C, C++, Objective C, JavaScript, R, C Sharp, PHP, Swift, Rust. So as, as you can see, we got very different responses from different indexes, except for the top three. Except, oh, JavaScript should be in the top three. Python, Java, C, C++. JavaScript is used everywhere, right? If I had to choose a particular language, I would choose JavaScript because it's ubiquitous. The web, the web. If you're new to programming, you're thinking about getting into software development and programming, you can't go wrong with web technologies. That, to me, is my top choice, simply because it's used in small businesses, startups, medium-sized businesses, large businesses. It's used to build web apps and websites. It's used in mobile development, in fact. It's all over the place. Now, if you take Python out of it, you look at Java, C++, Objective-C, not, nobody uses Objective-C, I don't know why it's there. JavaScript, and even PHP to a certain extent. C-sharp, very popular language. They're all C, they're all from the C family. So once you learn, like, once you learn how to write Java code, or C-sharp code, or JavaScript code, or C++, or C, you know how to write them all pretty much, you know, give or take, there's some differences and so on. The hardest part about development, and this is something that beginners don't know, is not the code. It's everything around the code, the infrastructure around the code. So JavaScript, typically you could be, well, I think that's just about always, you're going to be writing for web apps, whether it be on the server with Node or on the client in the web browser. So if you're doing, for example, client-side web browser-based JavaScript development, the hard part about is uh, of JavaScript it, again. It's not the core language. It's understanding the web, understanding how the browser works, and the the DOM is called the document object model, and so on. The stateless nature of the internet. So anyway, you got to look at different language indexes. Um, also, when you're looking at languages, you have to pay attention to the type of work that you want to do. So we're going in tight for this one because it's important. If you want to freelance, it's all about the web stack, 100%. So HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript. Also learn PHP, learn a bit of SQL and databases. Why? That's because that's what small businesses use, and small businesses will hire freelancers. Large corporations don't typically hire freelancers nearly as much. They'll get contractors, which is different from a freelancer, and they'll hire full-time. If you want to go work for a very large institution, a big bank, a government institution, 
There's a lot of Java. There's a lot of C sharp, depending on where you are in the world. There's always caveats and exceptions, of course. PHP, again, dominates the small business landscape because there's just so much investment in PHP infrastructure, whether it be in WordPress, which is the most popular content management system, or Drupal, and there are others. So there you go. That's the uh, Tyobi language index, just one indicator. Ultimately, you have to choose uh, stacks based on the job availability in your area because for certain parts of the world, like for example, Germany, C Sharp is very popular. Uh, New York City, Java jobs are plenty. I just know some guy, younger guy I know, just got a job in New York uh, writing Java code. In the land of nowhere, in the dark, deepest nightmares of certain software developers, they write Ruby code. So yeah, there you go. That's the story. I'm wearing this because it's, um, it's winter time and I'm bald. So that's it. If you have any questions about software development, let me know in the comments below. If you disagree with any of my assertions, you're wrong. Nah, maybe you're right. I don't know. No, I've been doing this for 30 years. I started getting paid to write code in 1995, 94. It's been so long, I forget exactly when. Uh, so I'm just here to give you my unbiased but experienced advice about software development in the real world. I've taken several applications to market, worked for a few publicly traded companies as a, as a dev. So uh, I know the deal. I know the deal. So I'll close off with this because I always do this. This is October 2025. Should you be worried about AI? No. Use AI. AI. The software developers who get into AI... The software developers who get into AI, they are going to be uh, in high demand. I'm already seeing it. I've talked about it recently. I don't do software development for, off, uh, for outside companies, but I've had a few companies before in the last month or so who've reached out to me looking for developers, freelancers, who could deliver AI-based solutions these AI-based solutions would be delivered through web apps, mostly. So you'd have a web app that surrounds uh, some AI capability, like a chatbot or a voice interface. Uh, I, guess, I, I don't know, a chat via voice uh, AI implementation. So, yeah, that's it. Anyway, um, a lot of people ask, a lot of people watching this video are probably saying, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Start with the web stack. You're looking at, at least with my program, 250, 300 hours, assuming you know absolutely nothing. With my interactive training, you can learn HTML5, CSS3, CSS JavaScript, PHP, and if you do my complete mentoring, you get the Python and a whole bunch of other things. And then uh, from there, become a, look at AI, uh, the AI landscape as the next programming language or the next framework to leverage. That's where the opportunity is. Anyway, but the web is good. The web is good. So there you go. That's the popularity index of languages as of 2025, according to Taiobi. It's weird because VB, I don't know who the hell's writing VB anymore.